we will now continue our discussion of multidimensional array. We're going to have a working example, and here is our problem. We're going to create grade report that accepts n number of students with names, grades in three subjects. That is physics, algebra, and programming. We're going to display the entered names, grades, and computed average on each summary. This would be our sample inputs. As you could see, we have four sets of inputs. And after processing, this would be our sample, sample output. Let us discuss the algorithm of the program. The program should be able to handle number of students depending on the number entry. So in this case, if I enter 4, it, the program will handle 4 sets of uh, data. The number will be our basis for the array size. The three subjects can be placed on an array string. So the subjects are algebra, physics, and programming. The name of students will be stored on one-dimensional array. Grade is a representation matrix, two-dimensional, between student and subject. We will set an accumulator, we will set an accumulator total grade per student. Total grade is also one-dimensional array. At the end, we display the student name grade per subject and average grade before generating the next student data. Let us start our program. Let us import scanner class utility. Let us have our main method. Declare input variable object of scanner class. Initialize to zero the integer variable numstud that will be the number figure of how many students to be processed. We will declare a subject as a one-dimensional dimension, array that will hold the three subjects, P6, Algebra, and Programming. Prompt the user to enter a value and assign the value to numstud variable. As we proceed to algorithm Z, D, and E, declare stud name as one dimensional string that will hold the name of the students. The array size depends on the value entered by user on the prompt message. Make grade two-dimensional as a basis of intersection of student and the corresponding subject assigned to a particular array index keys matrix. Here, the array size depends on the numstud value and array size within the array will be set to 3 because we have three subjects involved. Total grade will hold the accumulated grade value of each student. This is also declared as one-dimensional with double data type. Its size depends on the number of students that will be processed. We are now ready to code the data entry part of our program. Our data entry routine will consist of two looping statements, one outer and one inner loop. The inner loop facilitates the assignment of grade value for the three subjects. Total grade accumulates as we assign the 
value grade on a particular matrix combination. Total grade initial value is zero. All numeric data types declared as an array has an initial value of zero. Let us do the outer loop first. We proceed on the inner loop. Again, the basis of the outer loop to go on is the number of value entered by the user. It should be less than numstad since counting of array starts on zero. Zero would be the counter if we have reached the ultimate array size. G column counts subject already facilitated versus three. Why three in our inner loop condition? We have three subjects to process. Why G column less than three is set on the condition. The array counting of index starts with starts on zero and not one. Zero and G column will set as a pair of coordinates that will track the value of our two dimensional variable grid. Same approach will be used on displaying our report as we did on our data entry process. First, we display the header text grade report and its borderline. We will have the two looping statements. to the inner loop And we display the average for each student. Let us discuss. The outer loop displays the name and average grade of the student. Average grade is actually computed first before it is displayed. We divide total grade by 3.0 because of the three subjects and we are dealing with double data type value. This pro or display row and display column serve almost same purpose just as grade row and grade column on data entry, but this time on displaying the output. We don't need to identify each subject text since we already assign it on an array subject. Let us save our program, then run. Have four. And first, Alex. Eight. We have Eduardo. Nine. We have Dabs. Eight. We have Alan. Seven, eight. 
Here's our output. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.